What's going on everyone? It's your host Spook and we back again with breaking news. Now we know Haiti's in a crisis, right? Like in a state of emergency. Now we going you know what? Let's just get to it. The crisis in the small Caribbean nation continues Saturday. Uh, reports of clashes between the police and gangs continue. And CBS News Miami's Tanya Francois has been bringing us the latest information on these stories from Haiti for weeks. So she joins us now in studio with new video and the latest on what's going on. Okay, so now the gangs is going. They don't already got Ariel Henry to step down. The prime minister of Haiti, they got to resign. He stepped down. Now they're trying to put the police against the gangs to, you know, to get Haiti back in order. They, that's what they want. They want order. So now it's the gangs versus the police. All right. Haitians, especially those in Port-au-Prince, are anxious, not sure what will happen next. There are reports of a battle between gangs and police. The death toll yet to be determined. A CBS News Miami source living in Haiti is a drone pilot. They are voluntarily risking their safety to capture exclusive drone video, hoping people will get a bird's eye view of what's happening to their homeland and send help. Now, this video is of Lower Delma taken this morning. It's typically a working class area near the airport. Now, normally it's packed with businesses and people. What you're seeing is the aftermath of the fighting that took place over. This is Haiti? Now, this can't be Haiti. This can't be the Haiti I visited about, what, six years ago? Mm -mm. This can't be no Haiti. This is Haiti. This look like a not even third world. This look like a tenth world. Destruction, god damn. From a from a bird's eye view, what do you guys see? This look crazy. Night between the gangs and police members in an operation to help save and protect a nearby police department. Businesses have been looted, some burned. You can see their hollowed walls from the air. The United States has now promised an additional twenty-five million dollars to help with the humanitarian. The United States pledged 25 bands, 25 mil, $25 million to aid Haiti. Wow. I mean, the money could be used going towards United States citizens. But at the same time, too, Haiti's in a crisis. United States in a crisis, Haiti's in a crisis. Two crises are all that happen all at once. Hmm. Don't look too good for either or. In crisis, 362,000 people are displaced by those gangs taking over and destroying their homes. An estimated 5.5 million people are in need of immediate assistance, including food. And that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people to feed. 5.5 million is displaced and need their hygiene products. They can't bathe. They can't eat. They can't. They can't do nothing. These god darn gangs, these bandits, kidnappers, they just got to go. They got to go. All of this havoc and destruction upon Haiti is unnecessary. These gangs got to go. Now, I, I, I would respect the gangs a little bit more if they was protecting the people. If they was, you know, aiding the people. If they really, truly, truly wanted Haiti free. That's when I would have respected them. But all of this burning bodies, looting, destroying businesses and all of that, that I don't condone. No, 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 no. Food, health care, water and hygiene, as those are increasingly difficult to access. What you are also seeing is the port area being looted. Now, keep in mind, there's still no air. Of course, they're going to loot the port area. Isn't the port where they get all the things coming in from America inside Haiti? That's the port, right? Of course they're going to loot that. They hungry, ma'am. You didn't just hear what you just said. They hungry. They starving. They need hygiene products. They're going to loot that port up. Because I know if I'm there too, I'm looting that port too. Mm -mm. They, it, it, now, what they in? They in survival mode. So they'll do anything to survive. That's what they in right now. Survival mode. Ma'am nor port traffic, so nothing is coming in or out of the country of Haiti for at least the last two weeks. 
So we've been told that the port is, has been under attack again, um, and the port has not really been functioning. Police, again, they had taken control of the port along with the Army, but now what you're seeing is that um, the gangs have gone back in, and what they've been doing is... You Hold on. So the police took control of the, the ports back again, and then the gang members came back, and you telling me overthrew the police's too? Which one got more force? The police of Haiti, and it said army, it said police and army, or the gangs? Damn, is these gangs really that powerful? Is they really that powerful? Using the population, have the population go in first to loot, and then they come in after the population. There's also see that's that's why I don't respect. I don't respect them gang bangers. Cause you heard what they said? They send the population first. They send the pawns first. And then once the pawns go in first, that's when they raid it. Look at that. Killing them good old civilian Haitians first. Before you go in and get your Yo, yo thing. Mm -mm. No. No, I can't respect that. I can't condone that. Also a number of businesses, a Toyota business, um, a, I understand a coffee business that are in that lower Delma area. They've also been looted and pillaged in the last couple of days. And so we're seeing that this is continuing. Now, that was Jackie Charles with the Miami Herald giving us an update. The U.S. State Department says they are hopeful Haiti's transitional government will be in place in a matter of days with most of its members. Already so they already found a new president. I am I correct? That will be in power in a matter of days. Who? who who's president? Who? Who chose this new president that's about to come in power? Who chose him? That's what I want to know. Don't y'all want to know that? Did the Haitian people choose them? Or is this just another puppy about to be in place to wreak havoc on them good old Haitian people? What's it going to be? Only time will tell. Only time will tell. That, that, my thing is, if they found a president that quickly, that fast, 99% is probably another puppy. Because I don't think them good old Haitian folks chose this president. Already named. Now, government charter flights from Cap Haitian are expected to resume. You must have a valid U.S. passport to be able to get on those flights. Now, Cap Haitian, it's about a six to eight hour drive away from Port au Prince with countless gang members already blocking the roads in between. Florida's emergency management system has created a portal also for U.S. citizens who need help evacuating from Haiti. For that link, you can go to our website at cbsmiami.com. In the studios, Tanya Francois. That's crazy. That's crazy for these good old Haitian folks to be going through it like this. Like I said, it's problems after problems after problems after problems after repeated history after repeated history. And it's so easy. They've been doing this for years. Give the Haitian a, a president. He devours Haiti. Pollutes Haiti. Sucks Haiti for his resources. I'm talking about these puppets they've been putting in. Suck Haiti for their resources. And just... Leave. After they do all of that, leave. It's been continuing for the last past goddamn decades. When have the Haitian people ever elected they, um, they president in? It's been a while. It's been, well, close to 15 years going on, probably longer than that, since they elected their president. That's like, that's like us Americans not electing our president. It's, it's just, you know, the president has been already chosen for us. We don't even get to elect them anymore. That's that's what the Haitian people have been going through. No, man. Nah, it's time to make a change. It's time to give these people their own voices and get let these people handle their own politics and let them get down to business the way they get down to business. You understand? But that's that was the quick little politic I wanted to hit y'all with. I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Deuces. Salute.